Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through your cyclone on your very front compartments here. You're going to have your 12 volt battery inside the tall compartment as well as your hydraulic fluid. In the front compartment, this is going to be also an access into your pass through. You got a big access, uh, access pass through, both uh, accesses on both sides as well as the front. Right below, you're going to have your generator compartment. Your generator compartment. You're running a generator, fi uh, 5500. You have two breakers, as well as your prime and start switch. You will also be able to control this off of your uh, digital panel. Now, up to the right here, you can see a toggle switch with a little panel. Toggle switch here controls the LED lights on the front cap as well as you can control those off of the app or the actual panel inside. Right below you're going to have the little uh, leveling control system. The main system is going to be on the panel inside, the digital side. Right now you'll have a green light for indicator of having power. You'll have to push up and down at the exact same time to bring power to this panel green light appears up and down just controls the front legs auto level will level out your unit hitchhike will be the it'll put that unit at the location where it was right before you hit auto level retract all will bring all your jacks up you got two 30 pound lp tanks both full regulators are going to be on the passenger side uh one there is uh, a tank on each side in the front compartment very front this side pass through on your driver's side is also going to be your inlet side for uh, cable as well as water. Uh, you got four cable inlets on top, water inlet here. To tank fill your tank, you'll have to put it in here. To use the tank that water, you'll have to go to dry camping. City fixtures over to the right, that's going to be using the water pressure as well as the water coming out of the hose. Right below, you're going to have hot and cold outdoor shower, inlet for satellite black tank flush make sure you don't hook a hose up to that unless your valves are open and you're connected to the ground if you got a full black tank and you add more water you're gonna have a mess coming on the rear of these the axles here on your unit you're gonna have rear bathroom drain as well as the black tank flush for the rear bathroom you got two different inlets for fuel the left inlet's gonna be for the generator, right inlet's gonna be for the auxiliary nozzle here um, to fill up side-by-sides, uh, -side quads, dirt bikes, or even uh, your motorcycles. Here is gonna be where you'll turn on the power for the pump for that. 50 amp hookup here, yours is uh, wind it up into a, um, a little compartment. The, uh, the switch to control that wind up is gonna be Right here, as soon as you let off of it, two or three seconds it will release into a free wheel. Back door, you got the you got the ramp as well as the porch setup as well as the rear awning. Um, now you have three awnings on this camper. You have the big one up in front that is controlled by the main near the main panel. The two on the back here are controlled right uh, inside your garage door. Now you also control everything by the digital panel also for secondary. Passenger side above the axles, you're going to have your furnace exhaust here. Your main door will be this door right here, right in front of your axles. Outdoor entertainment center. Now just remember your your uh, TV as well as your fridge are not going to work unless you hook the shore power. Uh, right below, you're going to have the outdoor grill as well as the hot and cold sink. Just know this drain does not this sink does not have a drain. So. Um, the, right to the left here, you're going to have the light switch for the LED lights right above the TV. Right to the right, you're going to have your wa hot water heater. Big pass-through area here again. Water heater bypass right to the left. Battery disconnect to the right. Now you have your other 30-pound LP tank. Regulator is going to be right up in front of it. Now there's going to be a black knob up on top. Point it to the front to use this tank. Point it to the rear to use the other tank. So let's go ahead and go inside your unit as it was closed up. So we're walking inside the main door here. These steps just fold up and then uh, pull back down. Now when you come inside your unit, the big slide here right in front of you that holds the couch as well as the fridge, that will be actually closed. You actually won't be able to access that main panel. So there's a little switch off to the right as soon as you walk in the main door. 
that it's going to open this slide here and then your main panel is actually going to be right at the bottom of the stairs so your main panel will be right here you'll have the digital side of course for everything right below any switch you see in your light in your in your unit that is not labeled is our lights so all these are lights right here um, you can also control those lights by the digital side fan control here for right above in your kitchen right below you're gonna have two bedroom slide outs now as you see your bedroom door is open and your bathroom door is closed that's the way it needs to be to operate this slide if you have one of the other open it will end up crushing the door so just make sure those doors are bathroom doors closed bedroom doors open before operating two slides here one's going to control the actual bed one's going to control the whole frame with the door the big awning control here as well as awning light here the little panel down here will tell you if you're hooked to short power it'll tell you 50 amps 30 amps um, let's go ahead and start from the master bedroom work our way back to the garage master bedroom here and start right from the left of the door you walk in you got your light switch right to the right uh, right above it you're gonna have a thermostat you're gonna have three therm uh, these thermostats throughout your unit push it one time to acknowledge it push it again to turn it on fan AC heat off up and down of course is gonna adjust that temp now on the on the actual bed itself you have two individual lights right above it you're gonna see these type throughout your unit there's gonna be a little button underneath that light right in the dead center of it so if we come over here it's gonna be like that you can see a lot of those lights throughout your camper now going over near your closet here you got a charging station as well as you have um, inside this door here you're gonna have a, another charging shelf um, USB chargers on both sides as well as you're gonna have a washer and dryer hook up there fireplace again and your TV again so your, these items aren't gonna work without shore power so the pull out your TV for the master bedroom you'll just grab the and pull TV is in the inset so the switch for that inset motor is going to be right here to the left that's going to raise and lower the TV now um, going into the bathroom here pretty self-explanatory everybody knows how to use it we got a GFI breaker right to the right of it as well as the light switch right behind above the toilet give you a quick look now let's go ahead and walk back into the living area so coming down the steps, this is going to be the thermostat for the, the living area here. Kitchen. Microwave is going to be the best indicator if you have short power or that little digital panel. If the microwave is on, it, you at least have 30 amps. Right below you got a stove top that's going to run like a stove top at home or even a grill. You're just going to turn the knob over the flame and push and hold your igniter. <clears throat> right underneath your cabinets, these lights are all the little tap lights that you have to push keys are around your sink here fridge you got the propane or short power this uh, it will on if you have it in it has three modes so you got a plug mode only you have a propane drop only and then you have one with both of them together that's going to be your auto so as soon as you, as soon as you disconnect from short power it's going to use that propane big slide you have your light switches here now these cannot be controlled by the digital side they have they have to manually be turned off from here as well as right to the left of the couch above the little uh, kitchen table here you got two light switches these light switches are going to control the lights up above as well as the lights underneath are all manual lights you get the JBL audio system you got three zones one's going to control the outside one's going to control the inside and was going to control the gar garage you'll be able to uh, determine on if you want them all on two on one off it doesn't matter it's up to your discretion you got your 55 inch TV right above coming into your garage you're gonna have your in uh, push-button lights here right underneath 
another your garage TV or bunk room TV your thermostat for the bunk room is going to be right behind the bathroom door now the bathroom door is going to have the light switch right to the left when you walk in here again everybody knows how to use it you have a loft up above bed and then the couch underneath you have your patio steps here as well as the rug now right when you come in right underneath the cabinet you're gonna have more light switch and more switches without labels those are gonna be light you're gonna have the awning controls here as well as the bed lift control to control that bed you're gonna use that couch to guide down that bed because that bed is not on a chain system so if you put if you use this if this couch is down halfway and you pull the four pins at one at each corner that you're gonna have to pull that's gonna release that bed and it's gonna hit you in the head so bring the bed all the way up or the couch all the way up as, as it is now you'll you'll go to each corner and pull those pins it's gonna be a little pin uh, one at each corner and then you're gonna use that couch to guide down that bed that bed will stop at a little peg inside the track that that little peg is adjustable um, just know you're gonna when you move one move all four and then uh, again during transportation just make sure that beds up there locked in position because it is not on a chain system so you don't want it bouncing around and that's gonna complete our video for uh, today I hope you enjoy it thank you for choosing Lakeshore <laughs>